So here's the ear and plover. I'm going to be using a piezo silk. This is a resinal threads used in a lot of flies, especially the river patterns. And I still like to use them, you can still buy them. But what I do, I do like the small spools. I transfer it onto a used spool, an old spool, and I just transfer the, the thread onto that. Which makes it easier for all the spools or the bobbin holders I have. Now, you're going to need a cobbler's wax, a hard base wax. Because you have to wax the silk. It takes it and at the same time, adds a bit of colour to the thread. So you just run your the thread through the wax a couple of times, which will coat it. The golden plover is a covert feathers. This is from the wing. See these nice golden yellow tips? These are the feathers that you use. And obviously hairs here. Just the fine hair. As you can see from the hairs here, just pull it off. So all I do is just rip it off and mix it in my fingers, ready to dub. Now the hook I'm using is a Camasan, it's a B117, this is a size 14. You can tie this fly much smaller as well. Now what we're going to do here, we've waxed with thread, and we're going to work touch and turns down the shank until when we stop, we're in line with the point of the hook. Trim away the waste piece, and then what I usually do to tidy up is a single turn. Now what you've got to do here is, what I like to do is to spin the bobbin holder anti-clockwise. And what this does, it opens out the thread, takes the twists out. Now, I put on a wee bit more wax, two or three and just rub it on two or three times, just run it down. Just get a bit more tacky. And really, you don't want to overdress these flies. Now I'm just lying or laying the hairs here onto the thread. And then I'm going to clockwise spin the bobbin and allow the thread turns to tighten up. And when they tighten up, they'll catch the fine hairs. I'm just going to carry these up. There you go. Then, wind up forming your body. Just take your time. Don't worry if you can see some of the thread through. So I, would, I like to see the thread times. Just work your way up. To get to about a mil from the eye. And there you are, that is it. You can take the excess off, simply running your fingers through. But that to me is fine. Trouble your fingers to slightly flatten. Now, normally when you're tying these wet flies, to the, the traditional wet flies, don't need a lot of hackle. I've taken one of the covert feathers from the wing. I'm going to open it out fibre length to the I like, which will be slightly longer, just slightly longer than the body. It's there. Now that's where I'm going to catch that in. Then what I'm going to do is set, remove the point and leave a small cut end, if you can see that, just to tie in. Then come to the back and remove the fur. Fine fur at the back to reveal the stem. Then come back in, tie it on with a good side, the front of the hackle facing myself. So when you tie it in, it's actually going to lie back like this. Now you've got to remember there's wax on this thread, so it'll plenty of grip. Now get yourself a light pair of hackle pliers. Make sure it's clean. It may slip with you a couple of times, but persevere with it. It's a very light and delicate hackle. Now what I like to do is stroke these fibres back. To encourage the fibres to lay the way they should. Now there's a 
like a turn and a half and that's even sometimes too much but that's all I want just bring the hackle across the thread and wind it down towards the eye just take your time it's a bit fiddly remove the hackle pliers now I'm going to fold the stem back before I do that I like to remove the fine fibres because I don't want any more than what I've got on just now Hold the hackle back, like this adds protection. Two or three turns to lock in and then go straight in and whip finish. And there we are. Remove the thread. Come in and remove the, remove the stem. Just take your time. Don't want to cut any of these fibres away. And there we are. Tiny bit of varnish. Don't need a lot, just enough to I usually just basically put it in the top. And that's plenty. And sometimes I don't even put any varnish on it at all. And there you are. And that there is your hair, here's ear and plover. An excellent fly to have, certainly on the rivers.